Hi, so a lot of people have asked me to look into this. Could you make some kind of thermoelectric generator to attach to a rocket stove? Well, of course the answer is yes, you're going to spend a fortune going buy some Peltier devices, but that's not what they meant. What it meant is, could you build something? Now we all know that a thermocouple is basically two wires wired together. When you heat one end, you get a difference in voltage. And any wire pretty much will do. So copper and steel will create a tiny, tiny voltage, but a surprising amount of amps, as it happens. So if we put two dissimilar wires together, we will be able to generate with it. Now we've got to stack quite a lot of those up. When you stack up thermocouples, of course, what you get is a thermopile. So what we really need is some material that would generate a handsome voltage with a reasonable amount of electricity so we could stack them up and yeah, it would be cheap. Now that sounds like an impossible task, but it turns out it's not that impossible. This is a strip of ordinary copper wire. Now, if you've ever done anything on photovoltaics and made your own homemade solar cell, you'll know that if you stick this in some heat, what happens is it gets covered in a couple of copper oxides, copper one oxide and copper two oxide, the red oxide and the black oxide. Then what you normally have to do is whack that oxide off and you get yourself a very basic solar cell. So all we have to do with it is heat it in a Bunsen flame until it goes black. So before we go into this, let me take this opportunity to explain the channel a bit more to you. Remember that we have Welcome to the World of TNT, which is the more light-hearted component, and you can get to that just by the link in the description. We also have a Members channel. The Members channel goes into a bit more depth about it. You just click the Join button underneath any video on the homepage, and that will take you to the Members channel. There is a subscription fee, but it does help me do what it is that I do, and helps fund all of the things that we do. So hopefully you would like to become members or jump over to TNT and have a bit more of a giggle. But in the meantime, let's talk about this a bit more. Now I've got two bits of burnt copper wire there, so they've been oxidized to black copper oxide. You don't need to knock them off. And you'll notice this one, about two centimeters down, we've got a, sh a bit here. We're calling that the short side. And this one that sticks out about two centimeters is the long side. The long side goes to the negative, the short side goes to the positive. And I've got a voltmeter here so that we can video it and close up and if I put on that flame We're easily getting 174 millivolts out of that. Now this is actually thanks to Niall Steiner. Niall did a, a lot on this and it was uh, where I got this idea from. Of course, that's not enough. We want a few of those in order to be able to create enough to energy, power, to do something. Okay, so I'm gonna make 16 of these and I've got some lengths of wire 16 centimeters long, measure it down to seven and a half centimeters and put a bend in it to make a hair clip and then roughly two centimeters down for the top, put in a dog leg so we make 16 hairpins in copper like that and then we have to burn these edges and arrange them and I'm going to arrange them in a circle. Okay so to arrange them in a circle I'm going to cut a disc of wood with a hole in the center using my 150 mil hole cutter. Okay so we've got a whole bunch of our copper hairpins where we've oxidized the ends. Incidentally when you turn on this flame you'll see a center blue bit and then an outer bit. That outer bit is the oxidizing bit. If you hold your hairpin in the outer bit, you'll see the flame go green-yellow and the copper will glow bright red quite quickly and leave you a nice oxide coating. Now what we want to do is put them on our disc. So there's our disc that we've cut out and marked in 16 segments. And we pop that down and we put these so that the little leg from each one touches the long side of the next one to it. So we put them down there going to the center making sure that that happens and then the next one on and so on, and we just screw those down. Okay, and that's it all done. Now, just choose two next to each other, so right there, and on this side, cut off the long leg, and that side, cut off the short leg, and that's where you're going to attach. Hey. So it takes a little bit of time to get going. But once you get it going, it actually produces enough to light that little LED. Okay, so that was kind of awesome, hey? So, 
A simple thermoelectric generator you can make that you could put into your rocket stove. Now obviously it didn't produce a huge amount but then there aren't that many there so I'm guessing you would stack them up but it is a possibility. Anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe or jump over to TNT if you fancy having a look see what we're up to there or if you want to support us even more join and be a member. Anyway, thank you very much again.